Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is an install day for me. I am installing a Dakin ductless mini split in an apartment. So this apartment is empty at the moment. It's in between tenants. I came here the other day to put the indoor unit up. I just had a little bit of time in the day. So I put the indoor unit up and then went on with my day. I'm back here today to just finish the job, get it done. So there is an indoor unit up and the isolators in, in place and I'm going to do the rest of it now. So let's get straight into it. But before we do, um, if you like the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And if you just want to see more of this content, subscribe, you know the go. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so pipes are through the wall, isolators in position. Indoor unit is on the other side of that wall. Trunking is going to come along, down, sorry, along, down, and the unit's going right here. So it's for this property, and this property finishes about, there's like a wall there. So the reason why it's going there is because it's the furthest place away from the bedroom and it's the furthest place away from the bedroom. This is like a, I just think it's the best spot. Up on brackets, of course. But man, it's freezing this morning. Should have wore long pants. Um, so, got all the gear here that I think I'll need. Uh, it's seriously so cold. I'm like, I get a coffee and then come back and get started. I just open the box and they give you like spares. Interesting. Can't say I've seen that before. That's pretty cool. Don't need to read that. So they give you Dyna bolts, which I never use and never will. Yeah, so I use these.
All right, so I've just put a masonry blade on the angle grinder. Basically, I've just put a level up and marked out exactly where I need to cut, but I'm just gonna cut a channel out of that section so I can run it nice and flush. Let's do that now. Alright, so I've put that trunking on and just quickly run the pipe and drain and whatnot. Um, so basically, as you can see, you just come straight down, units there, the pipe, I haven't connected yet. The drain comes down, saddled, and then comes out, and then I've bent it a bit with a spring, so it just drips down, and there's still enough access to get into there. Um, so I'll hook all that up now, but, oh my god, mate, something happened that I've never had happen to me ever before. So, basically, I'm just going to change this to zooms. Alright, this trunking, one of the others, that little section there, that's the plastic. So this Colorbond trunking obviously comes with like a protective film on it and you just peel it straight off, do it every time. I'm not joking, I've just spent like an hour just trying to peel off all that plastic film and it's just, it's just, yeah, it's not happening. It's coming off, it's not coming off in one big piece, it just keeps breaking, it's an absolute dream up. Um, so I'm just leaving that like that for now and I'm going to get this thing on back and then get back to it but something so 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 easy has just been taking ages because I've literally just been standing here for an hour just trying to peel that plastic off that's why I sort of stopped filming for a bit but um anyway so I'm going to get back into it get this thing on back and then start peeling that off but that all looks nice and neat the reason why I use Colour Bond is just so it like, you can choose the colours and whatever. Match it as best we can. So that's Mana Red. So I've just made it come down. So I'll do an actual bend on that. And we're hunky dory. Let's go.
So that's ready to turn on. Um, still need to sort that out. I'm gonna do that to our lattice here. But I'm gonna give this a test run, so. That's basically what it looks like. Just pipes go straight on, they're on a on an angle because the things are on an angle. Yeah. Notched out that brick as you saw. Let's go turn it on. All right, that's running. Man, that's quiet. It's definitely running too. Because it's hot inside. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Job done. Like I said, I'm just going to stay back and just get that last bit off. That was a nightmare. But um, yeah, this is a nice easy one. Alright, so I worked out how to get it off. So, if that ever happens to you, just go get your map gas and like, if you have a heat gun, obviously better, but who the hell carries that? <laughs> I um, had the map gas like semi close to it, not heaps close, but semi close to it just to warm it up and it came off heaps easier. Even if you don't have that, like a map gas on you, if you just rub it heaps to like warm up the actual trunking with friction, it even comes off easier, but that was definitely a stitch up. But all done now. Let's get out of here.